how to create a landing page for free with Google Sites step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own landing page for free using Google Sites. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you are going to do is that you're going to go on to Google Sites and you're just going to search on Google for Google Sites. And if you already have logged into your Google account, you will be automatically led to this page or you will have to log into your browser or your Gmail account. And once you log on via your browser, this will be your home page. So you can see Google Sites is a very simple to use platform and uh, you can see they have a couple of templates for you to get started with as well and you can choose one of these templates to get started with or you can just click on blank over here and then this will open up the simple Google Sites website editor where you can begin designing your own website or landing page. So we're going to begin designing our landing page. Now there are several different uses and purposes of landing pages and the main difference between a landing page and a website is that a landing page does not have multiple pages within it. It's like a one page website and then a website actually has many navigation panels and several different pages. So it's a lot more simpler to create your landing page using Google Sites or any kind of website developer because all you're doing is creating one larger page with all of the information. So you can create landing pages, anything from affiliate marketing to your business. If you have like a physical store and you just need an online representation of your business, you can create a landing page for that. And there are so many other things you can do. So let's say that we are looking to create a landing page for our smoothie bar. So I'm going to add smoothie bar. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the header type and you can see we have four basic types of headers and I'm going to choose the cover header. And then what I'm going to do on the top left is I'm going to click on over here and you can click on add logo to add the website logo if you already have a logo for your business. And if you don't have a logo for your business, you can just enter whatever name that you want. So Jane's smoothie bar like this. And then what you can do is you can just click on over here and then you have the change image. You can click on this and then you can upload any image of your choice, but you can also click on select image over here and then you can go into the search bar and then you can even search on Google images for an image. So I'm just going to search for smoothie. Or I'm going to search for smoothie bar. And now I'm just going to take this image over here and I'm just going to click on select. Now you can see I've added this basic header image. Now below that, I can add different sections. Now to add different sections, you can see on your right side over here, you have text boxes, images, you can embed code. Then you also have content blocks. So you can add certain type of content, like you can add multiple images with descriptions beneath them. And then you have different things like collapsible groups, table of contents, image carousels, buttons, dividers, um, YouTube links, calendar links, documents, slide sheets, and all that. So below this, in my basic landing page what i want to add is maybe a few of the options or the popular hits so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to click on text box and then i'm just going to add some text which is going to be our most popular drinks and now once i've done that i'm just going to select the text and you can see there are several different font options and i'm just going to change the font like this and then i'm going to resize the text block like this and once I have done that, I'm going to center the text, align it to the center like so. And now I'm just going to drag this and place it right over here. We're just going to resize this over here and we're just going to make it like so. So over here, I've added this simple little text block. Now below that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this content block and now I can start adding images with text. So I can just click on upload and upload my own images obviously for your own business or brand you're going to upload your own images but uh, i'm just going to take a image off of google once more and i'm just going to search for smoothie and you can create even uh, affiliate marketing websites with this. You can create a simple landing page for maybe a small business that you're looking to start. You can even make a buffer page or a buffer landing page to your actual website as well. And there are several other ways that you can use a landing page in today's website terms. And the best part about landing pages is that they convey all of the information at once. So uh, you don't have to, you know, create several different navigation panels. And if you're not very good with creating websites then creating a simple landing page will be a lot more easier for you so i am just adding these images and i'm just going to 
search once more and i'm just going to take all of these images like this and now below that i can add like so and now i'm just going to add text very smoothie and then i'm going to add mint smoothie and then i'm going to add mango chiller like this so you can see over here i have added a few different options now below that in any kind of landing page uh, i would like to usually add a divider so i just click on this and now i have a divider and below that you can also add your physical location for your store because obviously if you are um, making a landing page for some store that does not sell online then you definitely want to add your location so i'm just going to zoom into the map over here and I am just going to drop a place mark right over here and I'm going to click on select. And now you can see I've added the physical location. If you want, you can even add a, a few text lines as well. So you can just click on text box over here and then you can add the location. So you can add our location. So you can even add multiple locations as well. You can add more embedded text marks as well and drop some more boxes. And now you can even add more things like buttons. So if you are selling online or if you're doing a affiliate marketing landing page, you can just click on button over here and add a button to purchase the item if you are selling online. But after you have finished designing your website, you can even change the theme later on. So for that, you can just click on themes on the top right over here. And you can see I have applied the simple theme but you can choose any of the other themes as well and it will be automatically applied to your entire website to make it look very cohesive so you don't have to worry about anything looking off and once you have finished designing your website you're just going to click on publish over here and then you can choose the web address that you want and you can just click on publish but if you want to preview your website on how it looks you're going to click on this icon on the top over here and then you can preview how your website is going to look like on a laptop on a tablet and on a phone as well so you can see how different device users are going to see your website and once you have done that you're just going to click on publish and our landing page is has been completed so we are just publishing and now i can just click on view over here and now you can see this is my landing page it looks very nice it looks very chic and you can add more information as you go you can add more footer information if you have social media links you can add those as well in your footer just by clicking on over here click on add footer and then you can just add your social media links i usually like to do those in the footers of most websites so once you have finished your website you can go into your google sites home and now you can see over here, this is your Google Sites homepage and you can see your website is live. You can also rename your website later on. You can delete it if you find that the purpose of the website has been served. And then you can also open up your website. And if you ever have to make any changes to your website, if you want to change up the look of your website, all you have to do is click on over here and then it will open up the website editor once more for you to begin re-editing your website. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own landing page using google sites make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you have any questions regarding google sites or how to create a landing page leave them in the comment box down below and i will make sure to answer them as soon as possible and i will catch you guys in the next video